Hi everybody, this is a short tutorial on how to use an SVN command line from a terminal. As everybody knows, SVN subversion is a version control system where a central repository is set up on a server and multiple users can connect to the central repository, check out the source code from the repository, work on their uh, client copy and then commit the changes back to the central repository. Usually, when a SVN server is set up, the admin gives you the repository name where the project is going to reside along with your username and password. Usually, the projects are going to get committed to the trunk directory. When an SVN repository is set up, there are usually these three folders, trunk, tags, and branches. Trunk is where the current copy of the working project is saved. Tags is when a particular part of the code has been released. A copy of the code that has been released is saved in the tags folders. And branches is for other uh, support releases usually. So we will be working on the trunk directory. Uh, I have created a subversion uh, repository in Assembla where we have free subversion repository you can just go and register over there uh, so I'm going to show how to check out the code from this repository I have a username which is Nalu here so let's see how this works here I'm going to create a working copy directory so let's call it working copy from my assembler server I'm going to cd into the directory and I'm going to show you how to check out the code from the repository. The command is svn space co for checkout followed by the repository name https dot dot com slash svn slash null slash shrunk space dot I'm telling the command to check out the source code from this URL from the URL https slash trunk to the current directory. So let's see what is in there. So I have a file which is cdo.txt so let me make some changes to this file so let's see uh, what are the changes made to this file so if we give an SVN status it will say what are the files that are currently modified and you can commit this file into the central repository so the command to check in is svn space ci for check in or commit and followed by the a comment so the comment can be given by stating minus m and then the followed by the comment changing the text file and then the username can be given like hyphen hyphen username once you so svn and then comment or check in minus m is for the comment and minus minus username is to specify a username so once you give enter it will send all the modified files back to the central repository um, I used the command previously so it didn't ask me the password this time but otherwise it will prompt you for the password at which point you have to enter in the password given to you now let's do an SVN update 
so which will give you the current copy from the SVN repository this is how you would check out the code make some changes to the existing files and check in let's see how to add a new file to the SVN repository so let's create a new file hello.txt and then let's write some content into the file so now if you give an SVN status it will say what is different from the copy that is maintained in the central server it says that there is a new file hello.txt does not it been added so you can add this to the repository so if you give svn followed by add and then the file name that you want to add to the repository this will get added to the repository and now if you give the command svn status it will say that a new file has been added which still needs to be committed to the central repository so now if i give svn check in minus m followed by the comment created a new file hello.txt it will start transferring all the files so now when you give an svn update it will say it is going to be at revision 4 now uh, you can also find out the differences between the current uh, working copy and the previous revisions so if you give svn diff which is going to give the SVN difference minus R stating the revision uh, minus R is for revision minus R stating the revision number for which you want to view the differences it says like the revision one had only like say the dot txt but now it is hello say do how are you and a new file has been created which is hello dot txt has the content hello world if you give an SVN div minus r2 if you give the differences between the revision 2 and the current working copy this plus indicates that something has been added to the working copy that is the plus sign here and then here this also indicates that a hello.txt file got added with the content hello world folders can also be added in the same way let's see a quick example of how to do that you can create a directory say mkdir sample also folder one cd folder one create some files in the folder So let's add this folder so when you say svn add folder 1 it recursively adds the files which are in that folder 2 so when you give svn commit minus m added a new folder structure and then check in the code going to find that all the folder contents are going to get added into the svn so if you give svn help it list a lot of commands which can be used so you can just give a svn help like so when when you give that it will say like how you can use this update command so it says bring changes from the repository into the working copy and there are a whole lot of ex examples to explain the same so when what does each letter specify a means added d means deleted u means updated 
scene of conflict so when multiple people are working on the same project and you as well as some other person change the same file and if there are going to be conflicts when you are checking in the code you can resolve the same using these commands so that's it for now i hope that you got a good introduction on how to use svn to check out make some changes check in add some new folders and files to your repository thank you bye bye